Yes, Jimmy. I'm in. Okay, in 10. Yeah, yeah, pack light, I got it. Hello, I'm Cindy. Hi, my name is Cindy Glenn. What's yours? Jimmy Brogan. Hi, I'm Cindy from The Point. You know my in-laws, I mean, former in-laws, way to blow right off the bat, idiot. Jimmy Brogan? Hi, I'm Cindy Glenn. Uh, you probably don't know who I am, but uh, you uh, know my ex-husband Eddie's family? The McAllisters? Yeah, them. So, you gonna buy me a drink? I like the dress, but fix the makeup and lose the glasses. <coughs> I'm so pretty. You were voted best looking in high school. You were already pretty. Well, yeah, well, you're blonde. And... Did I get work done? Are your boobs bigger? Yes, to both. He likes me to look my best at all times, even when I he comes home for doing God knows what or who at 3 a.m. Who are you talking oh. about? Jimmy. But that was just going to be a one-night stand. You end up the other woman for the next 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Two months ago, finally, I told him he had to choose. No more of this double life shit. He chose her. But now, I got the call. The call? What call? He's back in Boston. She couldn't hack it on the run. He wants me to go with him. We leave now, or I never see him again. On the run? Like Bonnie and Clyde or something? The feds indicted him. Racketeering, drugs, murder. Oh, God. No, no, no. no. I can't end up with someone like that. Oh, cut the goody two shoes crap. You always like the bad boys. Like your ex husband, Eddie? Yeah, you have twin sisters who marry brothers from down the street. Sounded cute at the time. But he told me he loved me. No one else ever had. Jimmy Brogan is also a very bad boy. You know exactly who they say he is. I know he's a gangster. The gangster who killed Eddie's brother? Your own sister's husband? And that's why you're going out tonight to find Jimmy and fuck him. Good. I hope Eddie finds out. Mm -hmm. I want him to hurt what he did to me. A little hurt him, but he's still gonna keep fucking your twin sister. It's like he wanted me, but a better version of me. Hmm. Her. They <laughs> fall in love and stay together for years. Fucking bitch. I will never forgive her. Yes, you will. In time. I can't. I can't. I can't imagine that. Trusting anyone. Believing anyone could ever love me. For a while, the arrangement works. You already know Jimmy's involved, so the betrayal's up front. But years pass. Feelings deepen. Why do other women always get to keep my man? What's wrong with me? But I have a career. I went to school. I have more in my piece life. Piece by piece, you give it all up for him. He takes care of your every need. Gets you the best surgeons to make you beautiful so you feel better about yourself. But you have to always be available for him. Not working. Not with friends. At least you get a house, a car, mink coats, jewelry. But he loves me? Jimmy will end up loving me. Yeah. I've given him almost half my life. That's why I have to get in the car tonight. This is my shot to finally have him all to myself. This has to work. If I don't go to that bar tonight, you don't end up with him, and I keep my career. Don't kid yourself. You would do anything to feel wanted and needed. You say you have to love yourself? Guess what? I can't. I can't, not unless I know someone else loves me. God, I, I worked so hard for this. Yeah, you also worked hard at this relationship. Otherwise, what was the point of getting rid of, quitting, getting rid of your friends and your career? You'll be alone. He'll be gone. You'll be middle-aged with nothing to show for the last 20 years of your fucking life. It'd be nice if I could just find a nice guy and have both. Have it all, you know? Nice guys are already in good working order. They don't need you. You don't want them. Hell, you wouldn't know what to do with boring stability anyway. Not the way we grew up. <laughs> but a not so nice guy. He's just someone who needs your help. And that's what I do.
I'm a caregiver. I have been my whole life helping dad when he had too much. Which was all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on him. There's no saving him. But there's someone else out there who will let you help him. Jimmy broke in. And he needs me now more than ever. I love him and he loves me. And that means more than anything else. Tonight, I leave all this and I get to have him forever. If you get in that car, you can't uncross that line. You're a criminal then. Yeah. No shit. Aiding and abetting a fugitive. I know that. I don't care. You sure? Fuck you! You know, I see what this is. <laughs> yeah, how proud you must be. You didn't get in the car. You went crawling back to your job. Nice scrubs. You still clean bedpans at your age? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not going to end up a lonely crone like you. This is my shot at a life of my own with a man that I love, and I'm taking it. Enjoy your sad old age. And you. Get your ass to that bar and fuck him silly tonight. God knows you need it. I forgot how angry I was back then. So I didn't get in the car? I just let him go and went to beg for my job back? Oh no, hon. These aren't scrubs. I'm not the medical kind anyway. I did get in that car. And they didn't catch us for 16 years. I'm in prison. You were expecting black and white stripes? I end up alone? We spent 16 years in hiding as Mr. and Mrs. Benko, retirees in 303, just blocks from the beach in Santa Monica. I took care of him, and he took care of us not getting caught. We spent years and years in that apartment, only going out if we absolutely had to, not really making any friends, just the two of us. I only had a to myself. And now we're forbidden from contacting each other. Last time I saw him was in the van taking us to the arraignment. See ya. See ya. How long did they give me? Eight years for harboring a fugitive and identity fraud. How far would you go for love? <laughs> Looks like you already know the answer to that. I refuse to testify against Jimmy. But now they want me to tell him who may have helped us on the run. Was it his loved ones? Mine? So, they want an answer today. Are you asking me what to do? Maybe I'm just curious what you do. If I don't cooperate, I'll be held in contempt, and they'll add even more years to my sentence. So how much more? Lawyer thinks I could end up doing almost as much as the hitman the feds got to rat on Jimmy. He got 12 years for 20 murders. That's not even a year per kill. <clears throat> what the fuck? Who did I hurt? Those families crying for the camera? They blame me for not turning in Jimmy. Did they betray their loved ones? Am I a bad person? Is that who I really am? What's being a good girl got you so far? Mrs. McAllister? If they add more years for contempt, I'll be 70 before I get out. I could die in this place. But growing up, Southie don't rat. I mean, that's what they told us, right? The Irish hated informer. And yet they're all turning on each other now. How much does he really love me? I need to know if it's true or just in my head. The lawyers must be this. Jimmy's been writing letters to people. They end up in the papers. Now the whole world knows. Cynthia sacrificed her future for me. I'd give my life to free her. We have been together for almost 40 years. By the time we met, it was too late. I was in too deep, had done too much to even consider an honest way of life. But our last 16 years on the run were the best days of both our lives. She changed my life. She did what all the cops, prisons, and courts couldn't got me to live crime-free for 16 years. For this, they should give her a medal. I never loved anyone like I do her. Never loved anyone like I do her. Not any other woman. Me. I changed him. Best days of both of our lives. No 
have love like that, I'd give anything. God, I would. I couldn't betray that. Me neither. Jimmy Brogan? Hi, I'm Cindy Glenn. You probably don't know who I am, but you know my ex-husband Eddie's family? The McAllisters? Yeah, them. So you gonna buy me a drink? <clears throat> I never loved anyone like I do her. I never loved anyone like I do her. I never loved anyone like I do her. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.